Phi Kappa Phi is the largest and most inclusive honor society in the United States. The students whom we invite to become members of Phi Kappa Phi are by definition the best and the brightest. What you are joining is this community of scholars, this ecosystem with an ethos of service to others. Phi Kappa Phi was founded in 1897 at the University of Maine by a student who was concerned that only athletes were getting recognition for excellence and not scholars. So he got together with other students, they approached the president of the university and asked to form a society to recognize academic excellence. The motto of Phi Kappa Phi is, let the love of learning rule humanity. And this learning has to do with the knowledge that we know, learn, and produce about how the world works. You're not just going to learn for learning's sake, but you're going to learn to in some way impact humanity in a positive way. We at the Honor Society of Phi Kappa Phi are committing to recognizing academic excellence in all of its flavors and supporting diversity across the board. So we had Pearl as the original female member of Phi Kappa Phi. I would tell her thank you for being true to herself as someone who loves learning. And I would want to pass that on to all of the college students out there, whether they're first generation or 20th generation, to study what you love studying and be true to yourself. We now have over 300 chapters throughout the U.S., in Puerto Rico, Guam, and the Philippines. So we've spread a lot, we've grown a lot, and over our history, we've initiated over one and a half million members. If you join Phi Kappa Phi, not only will you have a permanent recognition of your academic excellence, but beyond that, you'll be able to apply for over a million dollars of awards and grants, and you'll join a community of scholars and professionals who can help you achieve your goals in life. When we look across the 125 year history of Phi Kappa Phi, we're amazed at the advancements that our members have contributed to our society across that time. Promoting cross-disciplinary thinking is the primary way in which we will generate innovation and creative solutions. And who knows what will happen in the next 125 years as this brave new future is coming towards us.